Well, after about six weeks of prototyping, uh, the earth field monitor uh, magnetometer is now operational. Um, we got the first three evaluation boards back from OSH Park. Um, their board quality is just phenomenal uh, for the price. And uh, this is my prototype mock-up on a breadboard. All this had to fit on uh, something this size, an Arduino shield uh, for the Arduino Uno microcontroller. Actually, this is uh, not fully populated. This is a different board. Uh, this is our uh, lower resolution magnetometers. Um, eight with uh, extremely high precision. Uh, there's two sensor choices with resolutions of two nanoteslas per pixel. And the other one, um, your other option is a more sensitive sensor with 0.75 nanotesla resolution per pixel. Uh, so our first units are back and there she is. Uh, setting this up on any Windows laptop or desktop is extremely simple. Um, when you uh, once you set up your uh, Fluxgate sensor, which uh, there are instructions included how to properly do that, um, it is connected to the base station by Cat5 Ethernet cable. Um, you can't use a crossover cable, just regular uh, Cat5. And signal degradation tests have been performed up to 200 feet. Uh, so setting this up, the first thing you do is you plug in your power supply, then you plug in your USB and plug the other end into your computer. Um, optionally, we have a Bluetooth radio option so that you don't have to keep the unit tethered. And this lid opens up in case you would like to connect the unit's uh, data outputs to a frequency counter or a XY plotter and on the silk screen it tells you the pins um, that you would be able to just put your pin leads in there and run that to external equipment but the software that comes with it performs all of the functions that you would need so there's the there's the main board that is mated to an Arduino Uno so that's that prototype and uh, it does as expected it does perform way better than the breadboard prototype uh, simply because there are some issues when uh, using a breadboard One, um, I did notice that the the graphs look uh, the plots look a lot smoother this is the first plot off of the actual finished unit started this last night and uh, this is using the most sensitive sensor at 0.75 resolution so when this plot finishes I'll compare it to other uh, magnetometer ground stations and satellite uh, plots like GOES and ACE and Themis um, so this is the software that you'll install um, very simple it's just like installing any other Windows app uh, that will come on CD-ROM and any uh, it can also be downloaded from uh, tsnresearch.com and there's also a flash utility if the unit ever does need flashing uh, the firmware and a flash utility will be available so that's it um, you know you you plug in your power you connect it to your computer and this uh, Cat5 goes to your Fluxgate sensor, which will typically be buried. Uh, the orange light just indicates uh, transmit data activity. So we can see it's transmitting. The green light, um, as soon as you plug this in, the green light just indicates that everything is okay on the other end with the sensor. If you don't see a green light, 
uh, or if the light goes out, then you know very quickly what the problem is. Um, you either got a cable connection problem or something has gone wrong with your sensor. Um, so everything's integrated like that and uh, the unit is about two and a half by three inches glossy finish and we had the custom product labels made so there's three of these and they will be going out for some testing and evaluation and uh, we'll be keeping these in stock after that point um, the final price of these units has not yet been determined but it should be under two hundred and fifty dollars which may sound like a lot but you're getting um, USGS NOAA quality precision plots so just a little demo on the finished unit um, very pleased everything went smoothly on the very first try and uh, for more information, just contact us at www.tsnresearch.com.